Published, 1952 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 26th of March 2018. Updated, 838 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 27th of March 2018. The parents of Britain's highest-ranking transgender soldier have spoken of their joy after she married her actor boyfriend, who was born a woman, Captain Hannah Winterbourne, 31, and Jake Graff, 40, walked down the aisle at Chelsea Town Hall in London and said, Last night, we're just like any other bride and groom, the newlyweds have been dubbed the world's foremost transgender power couple, and said their white wedding was, like a Disney movie. Parents Brian and Wendy, of Cardiff were at the ceremony and Brian told Mile Online, We are very happy for Hannah and Jake, delighted for them. And we had a lovely day at their wedding on Friday, Captain Hannah Winterbourne, Wright, has married actor Jake Graff, Wright, who was born a woman. Pictured, the pair after getting engaged in New York's Central Park the newlyweds, pictured, are delighted to have married and said they were, just like any other bride or groom, her parents Brian and Wendy, pictured, said they were, very happy, after the wedding and said the occasion was a, lovely day, Captain Winterbourne, pictured with Mr. Graff, said she was, terrified, before their first date, but is now overjoyed at their nuptial jockey Graff, pictured left before his transition and right afterwards, said he went through hell when he was a child, Captain Winterbourne, pictured with her mother, grew up in South Wales with her family before joining the Army Captain Winterbourne, who was born in Pontypridd, South Wales, spent her first few years in the Army as a man, before deciding to undergo a sex change operation while on a tour of duty at Camp Bastion in Afghanistan five years ago. Jake, who starred alongside Eddie Redmayne in Hollywood film The Danish Girl, began transitioning in his mid-twenties having endured a hellish childhood where he would pray every night, I would wake up a boy, but having started to date a a few years ago the couple, who prefer not to reveal their previous names, found love and wept as they married last Friday, Hannah told the son, I never thought when I was younger this could happen to me. It was always a pipe dream, the couple will now live in army quarters near Hannah's barracks and the new Mrs. Graff said, to me, I'm just another girl married to another guy, adding. They may consider having children, the pair revealed previously that Jake had popped the question earlier this month while on a holiday in New York and planned to get married next summer. Hannah who joined the army as a man, came out as transgender and started transitioning four years ago after a tour to Afghanistan, Britain's highest-ranking transgender soldier, pictured with Mr. Graff, said she thought love and marriage was a pipe dream for her Hannah, pictured left before her transition, started the process four years ago after a tour of Afghanistan kept Winterbourne said she forgot about her past, as she transitioned and that the couple are now considering having children the newlyweds, pictured on ITV's Lorraine last year, have been dubbed transgender power couple Captain Winterbourne, pictured left before her transition and right afterwards, wed Mr. Graff at a ceremony at Chelsea Town Hall last week or picture on the front page story in January 2015 caught the eye of Jake Graff, 40, who told a mutual friend that he thought she looked cute before the pair starting talking. Although Captain Winterbourne said she was terrified before their first date on London's South Bank, the fact that Mr. Graff was also transgender made things a lot easier. Their relationship flourished and in September, the pair got engaged when Mr. Graff, who was in 2015 filmed The Danish Girl alongside Eddie Redmayne, proposed in New York Central Park. On Friday, Captain Winterbourne wore a strapless gown to wed her groom in a ceremony at Chelsea Town Hall that she described to the Sun as, like a Disney movie, we're just like any other bride and groom, the newlyweds told the newspaper. Hannah, pictured as a man during her tour of Afghanistan, added the ceremony was, like a Disney movie, Captain, pictured left, in uniform, and right on Lorraine, said to her the marriage was, just another girl married to another boy, Captain Winterbourne said the fact that Mr. Graff was also transgender made things a lot easier, Captain Winterbourne, left before, Anne Wright, after her transition, spent her first years in the army as a man before she spoke about her decision to transition while still on active duty Captain Winterbourne added, to me, I'm just another girl married to another guy, as you transition and meet someone new, you kind of forget about your past, Mr. Graff has spoken about how he'd pray every night that he would, wake up a boy, and said it had made him very angry. He said it was only after he met a transgender man when visiting New York at the age of 25 that he felt hopeful. The newly wed couple, who are both patrons of the transgender children's charity Mermaids, will live together in the married quarters near Captain Winterbourne's army barracks. They're keen to start a family together soon now that they've tied the knot.